Hey guys, John here, Ridgeview Homestead. Well, as you can see in the background, I'm looking at trailers. Uh, we need a utility trailer for the homes, homestead so I could put the side-by-side uh, -side on there and move it around or building materials, anything we might need. I've had a, a little one, uh, five foot by eight foot, but um, it's long gone and uh, it was just way too small. So I'm looking for something in the 16 foot to 18 foot range, probably 18 foot because most lumber dimensionally, you know, 16 footers, it'll barely fit on a 16 foot trailer. So let's take a look around, look at some pricing and stuff. We are out here today at Big Tex Trailers. They're one of the bigger brands. Um, sorry about all the road noise. It seems like everything in Arkansas is on a highway. So please bear with me with the noise. So let's look around here. This guy here is 4,500 bucks and this looks to be a 16 footer double axle has the uh, ramps right here so that's pretty nice I don't know if I really like this round tubing on top I think it would be hard to strap things down but um, we'll see I do like this step right here that's that's pretty nice I wonder how stiff these are. Yeah, those are pretty good. I like how it has this big channel tubing here. C, C channel, it runs all the way down to the, to the tongue there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But, uh, so let's take a look around. This is basically what we're looking for. Something I can haul lumber on, put the side by side on there maybe a small tractor in the future, whatever our needs might be. I just want to buy one trailer, one time. See, these guys are all small. See, if anybody's looking for like a car, a car hauler, this is a pretty nice trailer. It's 5,500 bucks. Has a spot here for a winch, a battery box spot there. Lots of places to strap down and has these big drop down heavy duty ramps. So this would be nice if you were hauling uh, a tractor around a lot or if you were hauling and moving cars, this would be a nice setup. This one here right behind me looks to be an 18 footer. So this is what I'm looking for. So let's, let's see how much this one is. It's nice and wide too. I think this is a, an 80 inch instead of a 72 inch. So this is the widest you can go. So it has the, uh, the ramps on the side there. Double axles, kind of tight through here. two inch re receiving hitch there and uh, you can adjust it which is pretty cool so you can go up and down so if you have a lifted truck you can adjust that accordingly and it looks like it has power brakes as well or is this just a breaker box yeah, I think that's a breaker box so this one is $47.95 the guy did say it's a little bit lower I think they're having a sale so he said that some of them are like three to five hundred dollars less so that one might be in the forty five hundred dollar range comes with a spare tire holder I guess the spare tire is optional definitely need a spare tire my luck if I didn't get a spare tire I would definitely have a blowout so that's probably what I'm looking for here to give you guys an idea on some different uh, price points Let's take a look around. This one here is the 16 foot equivalent and that's $39.95. Looks to be on sale or not quite sure. Well, this might be an 18 foot. No, maybe that's just the stock number. Oh, well, maybe it is. This might be a 20 foot because this says 20 BK. So yeah, that might be a 20, this might be a 20 foot. And this is an 18 foot. So that's a pretty decent price. 
$139.95, so four grand. All right, so let's take a look around some more, see what else they have. Wow, this one's $29.95. I wonder why that one's so much cheaper. It's a 20-footer. It says 70 PI right there on the side. That must be like the number, because this one over here is a 10 PI. I don't know, I'll have to ask the guy what the difference is. Probably tow rating, I would imagine, what it could handle as far as weight. This uh, chassis looks m a lot more stout. Looks like a four inch C channel. Where this one down here, that's only $29.95. This looks like a three inch C channel. Yeah, it's definitely an inch smaller. So that's probably it. It's the weight, weight rating. So this is gonna be a lighter duty. And the one over there, second one over, that one there is gonna be more of a heavy duty. I definitely don't want one with a big gate on the back. Just in case we haul something that's a little bit longer, it needs to hang off, you know, a foot or so. Then you have to remove the gate and all that, and it's a hassle. I don't necessarily need the gate with the loading ramps, so. I guess if you had one of these and you were just putting like your razor or quad or something like that on there, on and off, on and off, a gate like that would be nice. Plus it acts as like a door, it holds it in. So something like this right here, this is a 14 footer and it's $26.95. So this would be a nice one for somebody who just had a, a side by side or a couple quads. This right here is just a car hauler. what the price on this guy is it's three thousand bucks it's a 20 footer oh wow, they have the aluminum trailers over here see these guys here it's a 7 by 12 for 2600 bucks the aluminum trailers are nice because they're super lightweight I mean, I, I can lift this thing up, no problem. This would be good if you had like, a, you know, something small and lightweight. I wouldn't go putting a, a tractor on there or anything like that. And of course they have the big dogs here. If you have a gooseneck or a uh, heavy duty pickup truck, that I don't have, so I won't be buying a gooseneck trailer, that's for sure but they sure are cool. Let's see what something like this costs. This is a 35 foot trailer, a little under 1300 bucks. I don't know if that's a good price or not, but that is one heck of a trailer. Look at the length on that thing, wow. Yeah, you could definitely put a couple cars on this thing. I hope you guys can hear me all right. The noise is a little bit loud. Here's another one like the one across the way. This one looks a little bit narrower. This might be a 72 inch. Now this is 5,000. I had thought about getting something with uh, maybe some taller sides like this. So that way I could dual purpose. I could haul garbage or whatever to like the dump or whatever I needed to do. If I needed to put tree limbs in here or anything like that. So I don't know if this is a thought as well, but it is four thousand dollars we're definitely on a, a budget so what that budget is is cheap <laughs> but not cheap quality so i'm trying to find something of good quality that will be inexpensive let's put it that way not cheap Ooh, dump trailers that would be cool Dump trailers are awesome. That would be fun to have. I mean, I could fit a razor in here, no problem. 
Couldn't fit a car in here, that's for sure. There's no price tags on these guys. You probably need a heavy duty pickup to haul all that weight. I don't know if a, a, a half ton would work. I mean, I'm sure you could pull it no problem, but if you had that thing full of like concrete or rock or something, I don't think it could handle it. Well, Let's see what one of these enclosed trailers costs, just for, for all you guys out there, if there's anybody looking for an enclosed trailer. So this is $4,500. Not sure how long it is, can't figure out their little model code. But if I was guessing, I'd say 12 feet, maybe 10. Let's see if we can open one and take a peek inside. I doubt it. No, it's all locked up. That's okay. So I guess the one that interests me is going to be that 20 footer or the 18 footer. guys well today's video is going to be kind of a run and gun i'm going to go to a different dealership and uh, see what they have there and pricing and stuff and we'll go from there so uh, we'll see you at the next trailer place Hey guys, John here. Sorry about the traffic noise. I am out at Cowtown Antiques and Flea Market. They also sell trailers and they do customized trailers as well as all different kinds of add-ons and stuff. I found them online on Craigslist and I thought, let's go check it out. We're out in uh, Sheridan, Arkansas. It's about uh, 30 minutes south of Little Rock. So let's go take a walk around. They have a wide selection here. They got flatbeds and all kinds of good stuff. Utility trailers for landscapers. What I was happy about was the price. I'm able to get a 18 foot by 82 inch trailer for $2,100 and uh, as far as price point goes I, I couldn't find anything for that price um, this is a lot like the one that I'm gonna get um, except it doesn't have a, a, a loading ramp it has um, trailer ramps that slide out of the sides let me see if I can find one that has those so I can show you there we go there's some loading ramps right there so mine's gonna kind of be like that and it's and it's flat. It doesn't have the uh, dovetail. So super happy with the quality. They use C channel and it extends all the way back to the front tire. So here's my trailer. So we're 18 feet long, 82 inches wide. It has two by two tube steel. And like I was saying, it has the um, three inch um, C channel. It goes all the way to the back, double axles. 
so it's rated at 7,000 pounds. I got a um, trailer brake axle, so we got brakes. And here is the uh, loading ramp right here. I put a lock on it. It comes with a, a pin, so it won't fall out, but he recommended that I get a lock for it, so bought a couple of locks. And then these guys right here, um, it's to help stabilize your load. So if you have a full heavy load and you, you want to disconnect the trailer from your truck, you can swing these arms down and it'll hold, it'll hold the load. I'll uh, try to do this one handed to show you. There you go. So you just go like that and crank that sucker down. Let's see if I, can. I can't do it one handed going back up. But anyways, you get, you get the point. So then our loading ramps just hook on here. And then there's this um, channel right here. So if you decide to put in like a board or something, you could totally put in a board to uh, help block it. But LED lights. There's the other loading ramp. So super happy with it. And like I said, the place is called Cowtown. It's in Sheridan, Arkansas. And the, actually the manufacturer of this is called Dakota. He's a local guy. There is a company called Dakota Trailers out of South Dakota. But it comes with a VIN number and so you can register it and all that good stuff. So super duper happy with it. Let's go out and take a quick peek just to kind of show you everything that they have. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for joining us on this video. I uh, hope uh, you got some good information and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.